Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 37. And today we're going to look at MySQL and relational databases. Now, last time we actually uh, developed a database using PHP MyAdmin. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, just go ahead and save yourself a thousand bucks and watch my videos. I am always getting ads like, hey, come to our MySQL training. And for $1,000 a day, you'll be a MySQL database programmer. Great, but you know what? It's not that hard. SQL is a language that talks to the database, and you know what? It's just a table on the web. And so don't get too uh, wrapped around the axis. This is not difficult. There's just a handful of commands you need to learn. And once you learn those, you'll be programming uh, databases like crazy. And what we're going to work on today is relational databases. Like I said last time, we created just a simple database to talk to WordPress. Now we're actually going to get a relational database running. Now what is a relational database? It's just two tables talking to each other. That's it. Usually related by some type of ID. And you know how I like to work. Uh, last time we built a 3D calculator and we used the Windows calculator as a model. And we need another model as we begin talking about these databases. And here's a great one. It's CELTS. Now CELTS is a great movie production software. I've actually used it. I've done some filming for Lexmark. And in that process, we actually put together scripts and uh, like actors and plays. And we, we did printing training, but we did the whole movie thing. And uh, this is great. You have lots of things you can actually click on and do. We're specifically going to be interested in reproducing the storyboard portion of CELTS in this tutorial. You know, whenever you create a project, it's really great to go ahead and storyboard that. You know, the person that really got storyboard going was Walt Disney. And he created an entire process for actually developing films. And here's just a real simple storyboard. I'm going to go back one, and we're going to bring up, uh, actually, I believe... Uh, the Wizard of Oz. We actually have that as an example here today. So we are in CELTS and we have the storyboard for the Wizard of Oz up and uh, let me just point a few things out. Uh, there is like in a sense a sequence and in each sequence there's a series of uh, images and shots and so in the first sequence you you can see they're coming to a forest and then below that there's another sequence and these sequences are, are basically labeled by these uh, little blue uh, rectangles here. So you have a number and you have a title and then you have the ability to delete that sequence and you just go ahead and scroll along here and there's more sequences and you can add sequences at the very top here. So here's your add button. And you can actually order the, the way the storyboard actually looks. Let's go up and take a look at that. If you hit the three right here, that means three are lined up on the stage. Hit the two, two are lined up on the stage. And hit the one, then one is lined up the stage sequentially. You can go down through your storyboard like that. Now let's talk about the different pages that go along with the titles. Uh, you can have the, uh, basically starts with the 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So the numbering starts off with that initial ID. And then within that you have a title of a screenshot. So you come along here and you can choose different screenshots. And then you have a little text right here. And you have an image, and you have the ability to actually go and sketch uh, something. And we'll have to talk about building sketch systems as well. We're going to specifically concentrate on having all these elements in our MySQL database. So the reason we're working through this is so you can see how it's built. And we, in a sense, can pattern a database after that. Uh, also, there is the ability to change the way this page looks right here. You can actually have a little bit of uh, leeway over that. If you come here and go both. Just show the image with the text, of course. Just show the sketch, or show both. So that's pretty good right there. And uh, we're going to want to reproduce this structure in a database. Now, here's just some nice features concerning this software as well. You can come along here and actually drag and change the order just by drag and drop. Isn't that cool? And uh, we'll look at that uh, as we move on. And another thing you can do, let me go and bring this back up to work. You can actually change these pages, page positions, just by grabbing one and just moving it upward. So if you decide you don't like where it's at, you just move it and it changes. And i got to tell you, that is some nice features. You can add an image just by double-clicking. And that will take you to give you the, oh, that will play it. But you also, if there's nothing there, you have the ability to add an image. Let me come down here and say here's a, a blank one. And I want to add a text. I just type text in. So it's entry form. It's changing it as you type and so you can actually go ahead and grab the shot and then you'll need to save it of course up here with the save button once you've got everything changed but it's really a very nice interactive uh, screenshot click on this and then you can add an image just by surfing around and then you can actually come here and go to sketch software so really great software to reproduce a great uh, flow and there's one more feature I want to show you 
once you've got everything the way you want it, there's this play button. And so you can now actually play it so people can actually see your storyboard. And let me show you some, a nice little feature as well here. They have a feature where you can actually adjust the seconds that it stays on the actual uh, image of your storyboard, and it gives you your text right down here. Now that's just fun stuff. So let's hit the play button. And it's going to click through the images every second. And once again, if you want to adjust the time that it clicks through the images, you just change the value right there. Okay, so that's good for telling you how the software works. Now let's see if we can go and build a database that looks just like that. So we're going to open up phpMyAdmin. So come on down here to your system tray. And go ahead and click on this uh, bar right here and go to phpMyAdmin. Now in phpMyAdmin, we just want to create a database that's just so easy. We're just going to come along here and call it Storyboard Example. Okay, I just hit create and you created a database. Now, let me go ahead and say that the root name and the password for your database are very simple, and this is because we're doing development work. And so, if you go to privileges, so if you go to privileges right now, you can see that the username for, is uh, root and the password is uh, blank. And so, I'm going to tell you never, never, never use those as your username and passwords. Uh, if you do that, just go ahead and blind yourself and jump backwards off a skyscraper. I mean, when you actually put something on a production server, make sure that you've got a good username and a good password, and that's protected from outside hackers. Otherwise, uh, something simple like this will really get you in trouble. So uh, just to let you know that we're going to keep it as root and password as blank, and just because we're in the development side, we're not on a production server, okay? Just to make that clear. Then we'll show you how to change those passwords in the future. So now we've created our database. Let's go back down to our database, which is storyboard example and we want to create two tables and so if we go back and look at our model right here our CELTS example we can see that we're dealing with uh, in a sense these sequences and each sequence has a series of, of screenshots which we could call pages so our database should actually have two tables it should have basically a table which has all the sequences in it and then the table that has all the pages in it and we're going to relationally link those uh, two together using a simple ID method so let's go ahead and uh, create our tables so now that we've created our database we actually have to add two tables and we're going to have a sequences table and we're going to have a pages table so sequences will basically be the titles of the different shot sequences and the pages will be all the shots that are in each one of those and so let's go ahead and add a sequences table and how many fields do we need in that table well basically you need an ID table that's the entry number and you also need a title of the sequence but you don't know you may need a, a number of other fields so let's add three extra fields that we can fill in later so hit five and hit go now the ID that's the data entry number and we're gonna move on and you're gonna have the integer which is 11 we'll put that and here's something that's very important we come along here and make the index our primary index that's the key for the particular data that's coming in and we're gonna auto increment it so that's done and then we're gonna to wanna to add a title and we want to do, go ahead and use var code. That's just a text that has 255 possible characters. Set var code. And then we'll just max that out to 255, but we'll change that later on. That's done. The next one is going to be, I don't know, so we'll just call this primer, uh, parameter 1. Next one's parameter 2. Next one's parameter 3. We'll just have some extra parameters there. That's okay. And we can remove those or change their names or whatever we need to do. That will all be var code. And we'll just sloppily max that out to 255, but we can actually change that later on. And that's all there is to creating your relational database. Let's go ahead and enter. And you can see here are all the SQL commands that are required to create that database. So if you actually want to type this into your command prompt, you could just type this in. That's the great thing about PHP. My admin actually shows you the SQL code. And here's your table. And now we want to create the second table and relate it to the first. And we'll do that in the next video. So let's review what we've done today. Today we talked about databases and building databases. We looked at the movie making Silk software, which I just love. We went to the wonderful Wizard of Oz and talked about how it was created. We actually realized we need two tables to build a Silk storyboard piece. We need a, a, a sequences table and we'd actually need a pages table. So you can see as you page down here, you have these sequences 
that basically that your storyboards go inside of and your storyboards in a sense are your page. So then we went to phpMyAdmin. We created a database, storyboard example. Let's click on that. And we built our first table. And in the next video, we're actually going to build our second table and relate those to each other with a simple ID parameter. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.